The Netherlands is sometimes called the drainage point of Europe. Four major rivers, the Rhine, the Meuse, the Scheldt and the Ems, flow into the country and drain into the Woden and North Seas via the Dutch coastline. When you move out of the city to its suburbs, you can enjoy the views of the famous flatlands with green grass, occasional windmills and small towns scattered around the area, and myriads of tiny irrigation canals. Water. Water everywhere. A blessing and a curse. The Netherlands has always been caught, as the saying goes, between the continental river devil and the deep blue North Sea. Flood control has always been a top priority. 500 years ago, uh, the windmills were a state-of-the-art technology that helped to pump water and turn swamps into farmland, then created the landscape of the Netherlands. After hundreds of years of continuous practice, the Dutch excelled in construction of dikes, dams and floodgates. The 20th century, with its modern technologies, allowed them to implement two greatest hydraulic engineering projects in national history – the Zuiderzee Works in the north and the Delta Works in the southwest. The Zuiderzee project is a great example of how tiny little humans dare to challenge the menace of the sea. With this great dam, the Afsluidik, the Dutch cut off the shallow inner South Sea from the North Sea. Ships dumped the mixture of sand, silt, rocks and clay into the sea and made a 32-kilometer long dam slash convenient motorway right in the middle of the sea. It sounds mind-blowing, but as a result, the salty seawaters turned into a freshwater lake and the Dutch stole 1,650 square meters of land from the sea. The Delta Works was an even more ambitious and large-scale initiative to tame the rivers. It closed off the Rhine, Meuse and Scheldt estuaries uh, with dikes to have more control of the tides and floods. It was accelerated by a tragic disaster that happened in the night of February 1st in 1953, when over 200,000 hectares of land were swallowed by the North Sea. 1,836 people drowned along with 182,000 animals. 3,300 homes and farms were destroyed, with another 43,000 damaged. Never in living memory have the Dutch suffered such a disaster. Yet they'll fight back rebuild their shattered homes and make this once more a prosperous land. The flood exposed the deficiencies in the existing dike systems and called for an immediate action. And after 43 years of construction, 13 sections consisting of six dams, two locks and five storm surge barriers were built. All sections are interlinked and can be operated independently or as a giant network. When a flood hits, uh, the complicated computer system controls the actions of every structure and tells them what to do in order to secure their section. And you can learn more about how the Delta works and have a closer look at this jaw-dropping Eastern Scheldt storm surge barrier with 62 enormous sliding gates by buying a ticket to the Delta Park. I will keep the link in the description box for you. The American Society of Civil Engineers declared these mega-projects as among the seven wonders of the modern world. The Dutch not only ensure flood protection, but also manage to reclaim land. The areas dried from water are called polders. There are 3,000 polders of various sizes nationwide, including these relatively new areas, the giant islands, added in the 20th century. What used to be a useless wetland has been turned into a successful agricultural businesses. The unique soil composition of these areas was perfect for the flowers that became an official hallmark of the Netherlands. Tulips. The northeast polder is one of the largest tulip areas in the Netherlands. If your trip is in April or May, you must visit the Tulip Festival. Just look at these gorgeous tulip fields. Of course, that's not the only place where tulips grow. Another popular location is Kuikenhof also known as the Garden of Europe, one of the world's largest flower gardens with 7 million spring flowering bulbs 
planted there every year. Not only tulips, but also hyacinths, freesia and chrysanthemum, orchids, daffodils, roses and many others. You can relax on their whisper boat that floats between the fields or explore by bike and take a selfie with a real windmill. We've seen the Dutch way of blending traditions with the latest technology. They literally created their country the way it is now by reclaiming all these lands and transforming them into something beautiful and sustainable. As the nation who has stood against the forces of nature for centuries, they've learned not to fight these forces, but rather to adapt and coexist using their creative minds.